guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have a skincare haul for you guys. Recently, I did a shop on Adore Beauty. For those who aren't familiar, Adore Beauty is an online beauty store here in Australia. I really like it. I've used them many, many, many times before. I've ordered so many products off there. I What I'll do is I'll link Adore Beauty down below with my affiliate link if you guys are interested. But anyway, moving on to the haul. So Adore Beauty recently started stocking the Ordinary and my friend Rebecca has been talking to me about the Ordinary skincare for months now. Like I want to say she's been talking to me about it for at least, I don't know, like 12 months. She's been telling me about it and I had quite a lot of skincare that time. Like when she told me about it the first time, I only just did a large skincare restock. I like buying my skincare in batches, using it kind of almost empty and then buying more stuff, using that up and then starting the new stuff, if that makes sense. So I was like, okay, well, I'll wait till I've used down some of the products that I've used before I dive into buying new stuff. She was like, fair enough, because skincare goes bad and so on and so forth. So my skincare was getting kind of low and coincidentally, Adore Beauty sent me a coupon code for $15 off. So yeah, I purchased all this stuff with my own money. Nothing is given to me. I don't have enough followers for that shit. I work, I pay for my own stuff. Anyway, so I bought some Ordinary products or The Ordinary products and I thought that I'd show you guys them today. Um, their stuff is so ridiculously affordable. Like, I didn't expect it to be so affordable. I don't know the exact price of everything, but the most expensive thing that I got was I think $20. Everything else was under $20. So that is amazing. Okay, so the first product from The Ordinary that I got was the High Adherence Silicon Primer. I believe that's what it, how it's pronounced. So basically it's a blurring surface smoothing primer. You do get one fluid ounce in this container. I haven't used this yet, but I'm super excited to. Would you guys like to see a review? If you want to see a review of any of these products, please let me know. Moving on, this was recommended to me by Rebecca. This is one of her favorite things. And I think this was the most expensive. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Um, this was one of the most expensive things that I bought from The Ordinary. I think this was like 20 or $23 or something like that. It's called The Buffet and basically it's a multi-technology peptide serum. That's what it says on the box. Um, it looks like this. I haven't used it before so I can't really tell you guys what I think about it but if you guys would like to see a review of that let me know as well. If you like me to see if you guys would like me to do any reviews for anything here please let me know. The next thing that I got I think was also a recommendation from Rebecca. I can't remember. I did buy a lot of things off her recommendations. I think four things were her recommendation. Anyway, this one is the lactic acid 10% with HA 2%. So this is a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation. Kind of scary. I probably wouldn't have bought it on my own accord, but Rebecca said it's good. I'm guessing that it's gonna work similar to what retinol does. That's my guess. I haven't really played around with lactic acid all that much, um, but yeah, that's that there. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased was the vitamin C suspension. I'm reading off the box. Vitamin C suspension 23% HA spheres. So basically it's water-free and silicon-free. What does it actually do? This is to target uneven skin tone and signs of aging. So that's going to be really, really good. I am only 22 at the moment, but I think with age, like anti-aging, I think you can never start too early. Um, or at least when you hit like the 20s I don't think it's too early to be like preventing aging the next thing that I got was a retinoid I actually don't know what this is I thought that I was getting retinol maybe it's the same maybe it's not I'm not too sure um, but basically I just got the advanced retinoid 2% um, and basically it's supposed to be like next generation targets textural irregularities and signs of aging I don't even know if I'm saying those words right like I'm going to be honest, I don't even read things, I skim read. So that's why a lot of the things that I say aren't right. Um, oh, this packaging is cool. It's like in a brown glass. I don't really know what else to say. It says apply a few drops to the face in the PM as part of your skincare regime. Do not use with other retinoid treatments. Use sun protection in the AM. Um, I'm guessing that this is basically like a retinol but stronger. 
um, with retinol that's basically a vitamin A complex and I'm guessing this must be very similar. And the last thing that I got from The Ordinary is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So this is what it looks like here. I haven't used this yet either, um, but I probably will use this tomorrow actually. So let me know if you'd like to see a review of that one. It's supposed to be spreadability enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer. And this is supposed to be your last step before your makeup. That is all that I got from Adore Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that I didn't show you like any more makeup y stuff, but sometimes it's just nice to just show skincare and show you the products that I actually use for my skin as well. Although I haven't used these yet, I will be switching them up into my routine. So I'll definitely update you guys if I like them or if I highly dislike them. If I'm pretty neutral about it, I probably won't talk about them. But if I really like it or I really hate it, you will definitely know about it. Um, if you'd like to see any reviews of anything here, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. And I'll get those up ASAP um, after I've tried them out for like at least two and a half months. Um, but yeah, so I feel like there's nothing else for me to say at this present moment. So I hope you guys are having a very wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and even follow me on social media if you'd like. I'm just the happy Laura. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye.